Jackson State University is known for many things, academic excellence, cultural pride, and a legacy of success both on and off the field. But perhaps nothing represents the spirit of JSU quite like its world-famous marching band, the Sonic Boom of the South. The story of Jackson State University's marching band dates back over a century. It was in the early 20th century when Jackson State, then known as Jackson College, began to form its music programs. Originally, the band was a small, traditional group performing at campus events. But in the 1940s and 50s, as the school evolved, so did its band. Under the leadership of early directors like Harold Houghton Sr., the band began to grow, adding new instruments and unique sounds. It was during this period that the seeds of greatness were sown. In 1971, under the leadership of William W. Davis, the band transformed its sound, style, and identity. With that transformation came a name that would soon be recognized nationwide, the Sonic Boom of the South. The sonic boom became known for its powerful, resonant sound, impeccable timing, and high-stepping, show-stopping style. This wasn't just a band, it was an experience. The name Sonic Boom perfectly captured the explosive energy and massive sound that the band was bringing to every performance. excitement to the crowd and it's just fabulous an exciting feeling no history of the sonic boom is complete without mention of the j sets the band's renowned dance line established in 1971 the j sets brought an electrifying style of dance known as j setting a mix of hip-hop jazz and majorette styles their moves were bold precise and unlike anything seen before when we think of J setting or the, the term J set, um, that type of dance is definitely grounded in the majorette form of dance. But over the years, the J sets have definitely added our own twist to it. And um, when you think of J setting, you think of energy, you think of precision, you think of acrobatics. Put all that into one to make a form of dance that has been all our own. I think something that we have definitely come up with over the years, it has evolved into this form of dance that everyone loves. And of course, we can't forget the drum majors, the leaders of the boom. Their stylish routines and strong stage presence set the tone, helping to make every performance unforgettable. The sonic boom of the South's reputation grew beyond the borders of Jackson State. They started appearing at NFL games, national competitions, and televised events. They became a fixture at the Honda Battle of the Bands, where they consistently wowed audiences. Jackson State's band was no longer just a college marching band. It became a cultural phenomenon, inspiring young musicians and marching bands nationwide. Today, the sonic boom is led by Dr. Roderick Little, a former band member who carries forward the traditions established by his predecessors. Under his guidance, the band remains one of the premier HBCU marching bands while constantly innovating and elevating its craft. Jackson State University's sonic boom of the South is more than just a band. It's the heartbeat of the university, a symbol of resilience, pride, and culture. Its legacy continues to inspire and will no doubt be remembered as one of the greatest marching bands in history.